Welcome to Dolphins Today. I am Will Scott. On today's show, we're going to be talking about some trade rumors. We're less than two weeks away from the NFL trade deadline. A lot of players that are being linked to the Dolphins ahead of that deadline on November 1st at 4 o'clock Eastern time. Tis the trade season, am I right? A lot of fun rumors we're going to be discussing on today's show. But first, I want to hear from you in the comments section. Name a player you want the Dolphins to trade for. I think a lot of y'all are going to be saying Taylor Mode, and we're going to talk about him in a second. Spoiler alert, he's one of the five names we're talking about here. But the first player we're talking about is his teammate in Carolina, Christian McCaffrey, the star running back for the Panthers. And a reason that we're talking about him here is because the Dolphins are, you know, at least making some noise on the trade rumor front with McCaffrey. Here are the betting odds for his next team. The Bills are the only team above the Dolphins. So the Dolphins have the second best betting odds to land Christian McCaffrey. That is wild. The Rams, Patriots, and Niners uh, behind us here. So uh, three of the top four teams, at least the favorites, uh, according to Vegas, to land McCaffrey, all in the AFC East. Here is what McCaffrey has done this season. Uh, he's played all six games. That's good to see. He only played, um, I think, 10 games the last two seasons combined. So his availability is a concern. We'll talk about that, too, in a second. 85 carries, 393 yards, 4.6 yards per carry, two touchdowns, receiving 33 receptions, 277 yards, 8.4 yards per catch, one touchdown for McCaffrey. It's not going to be easy to get this guy go uh, it, to get this guy though because the Panthers reportedly want a massive haul for their star running back. Here's what Dov Kleiman tweeted earlier this week. The Panthers will only trade Christian McCaffrey for an offer that includes multiple first round picks. I'm not giving up multiple first round picks for McCaffrey. I'm not even giving up one first round pick for Christian McCaffrey. A second round pick then we can talk. Even if it's a second and a third, then maybe we'll talk about McCaffrey. But I'm not giving up a first-round pick. I would rather maybe draft a running back with the 49ers first-round pick that you own in next year's draft. But here's why trading for McCaffrey makes some sense. Because the Dolphins right now have one of the worst rushing offenses in the league. They rank third to last in the National Football League with 81.2 yards per game. That's not good, and every single week we've talked about the run game needing to improve outside of the one game for Mostert that we saw against the Jets. The run game has been non-existent. Taking a look here at the Dolphins running back depth chart. Uh, so you do have Edmonds and Mostert kind of as the top two backs. Mostert has kind of emerged as the top back on this Dolphins team. Ingles, the fullback, he's gotten more involved, uh, quite frankly, than, than Edmonds, at least in the last couple weeks. Miles Gaskins only had four carries all year. That all came against New York. And then Salman Ahmed, uh, we have not seen him yet this season, at least uh, running the football. But imagine what Christian McCaffrey could do in Mike McDaniel's offense. I mean, that would just be a great marriage, I think, between those two. McCaffrey, I think, needs to get out of Carolina. He deserves better than the Panthers, let's be honest. Meanwhile, Mike McDaniel, this offensive genius that he is, last season in San Francisco, McDaniel, as the offensive coordinator, had the number one rushing offense in the league. You put McCaffrey in McDaniel's scheme, you're going to do some serious damage. Let's break down some Christian McCaffrey trade pros and cons. The number one clear pro here is that you would have probably the most explosive offense in the league. You arguably have that right now. If you make the trade for McCaffrey, you would no doubt have that. I mean, think about Jalen Waddell, Tyree Kill, Christian McCaffrey, Tua Tungavailoa on the field at the same time. The league would be finished. Number two, at least the first con here that we're going to go over here, is the price. It's not going to be cheap to get Christian McCaffrey. Uh, the Panthers won a big haul. We saw that Dov Kleiman tweet earlier that they might want multiple picks for McCaffrey. That is a big con, probably the biggest con of making this trade. The second pro is your running backs haven't been very good. Chase Edmonds has been non-existent. Raheem Mostert's been solid, but is he good enough to be a top-tier back in RB1 on a Super Bowl contender? That is yet to be seen. The second con here is availability. I mean, Christian McCaffrey's availability, 
uh, has been a concern. Luckily, he's played in every single game this season, uh, but in the seasons prior, he, he's missed some he's missed some crucial games, a, a lot of time. And then the second con here is you have a lot of other needs on this football team. Uh, there's no question about that, including the offensive line, probably the cornerback position as well. I don't know if the Dolphins should be focused on at the trade deadline, trading for running back. They should be focused on trading for corner depth or trading for offensive linemen. Have, have I talked about the offensive line this week, Seeps? Uh, uh, yeah, you need to trade for an offensive lineman. We'll talk about one in a second. Do you want to trade for Christian McCaffrey? Type T for trade or type P for pass down in the comments section. It is the pinned comment on today's video. When ad break comes, go down, sound off. Do you want to trade? for Christian McCaffrey. While you're down there, go hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe for news, rumors, watch parties, and more. We're going to be going live 30 minutes before kickoff, before Sunday Night Football against the Steelers. That is going to be a lot of fun. You do not want to miss it. Subscribe and turn on your notifications because if you turn on that noti bell, hit that noti bell down below, you are going to get a notification, an alert on your phone every single time we go live. Let's talk about our second trade target here. Also, a member of the Carolina Panthers. That would be Taylor Moat, uh, who Dolphins Twitter, at least, is very high on. Moten has a 76.2 pass blocking grade this season. That's higher than anyone on the Miami Dolphins, and you certainly have to prioritize guys that are good in that category because your last, uh, your, in the last three weeks, your quarterbacks have all gotten hurt. He needs to be the number one trade target for the Miami Dolphins, Chris Greer, make this happen. Pick up the phone. You have got to improve this offensive line. I cannot keep seeing our quarterbacks going down injured, obviously, especially to a tongue of Ilo who comes back on Sunday. So here's the trade idea that I discussed yesterday that right now has over 140,000 impressions on my Twitter account. So go and check it out at WillScott44. Go sound off. But I set Dolphins Twitter uh, into a frenzy Yesterday, producer Patrick Seaman. Taylor Moten in a six-round pick is my proposal for Cedric Wilson and a second-round pick. That's what I want. That is what I think the Panthers uh, might consider. Said has not been utilized in this offense. He could be utilized in Carolina. They need some receiver help after trading Robbie Anderson uh, to the Arizona Cardinals. I would not be willing to give up a first-round pick for Taylor Moden, but because of how desperate the Dolphins are right now needing offensive linemen, I would trade a second-round pick. Would you, though? Would you trade a second-round pick if it meant getting Taylor Moden one of the best right tackles in the league? I repeat, one of the best right tackles in the league. The Dolphins need that badly right now. Type Y for yes, type in for no. And a lot of y'all are going to say, well, you know, Austin Jackson's coming back. I get that. Taylor Moden's better than Austin Jackson. Move Austin Jackson left guard and get Liam Eikenberg the heck out of town. Let's talk about, yes, another member of the Carolina Panthers, Brian Burns. And the reason we're talking about the Panthers a lot is because a fire sale might happen in Carolina. They're one in five. They just fired Matt Rule. They might want to tank. All three of these guys, I would not be surprised if they were all traded by the deadline. Here's what Michael Balco reported last week, who covers the Carolina Panthers. Hearing that Panthers defensive end Brian Burns is practically a lock to be traded before the NFL trade deadline. And he's having a very good season. Here's what he's done in 2022. So I look at a player like Burns. I see what he can bring to the table here. He would make this Dolphins defense even more dangerous. I think this would be game-changing for the Dolphins defense, quite frankly, when you look at what Burns uh, brings to the table, having a great season, a good season last year, also another good season this year for Carolina. I really like Burns but there might be some more needs on this football team. Bigger needs, that includes the offensive line. Guys, you can go bet on the fins on Sunday at chatsports.com slash bet. And if you use that promo code, you are going to get a 125% deposit bonus. That's the link. That's the promo code. Fins are a seven-point favorite. A lot of people in Chat Sports office surprised about this, but Tua Tagovailoa is coming back, and uh, it's the revenge game against Brian Flores. So, I like the Fins by a 7. Hope you do as well. If you do, chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code Dolphins125. Can he pick it my play on Sunday, according to um, Mike Tomlin? So that's something to monitor throughout the week. Let's talk about someone who is not on the Carolina Panthers. That is William Jackson, a star cornerback with the Washington Commanders. 
The Dolphins were listed as the most likely trade destination for Jackson by fan cited. We heard a lot of trade rumors involving Jackson last week that both him and Washington kind of want to find a trade partner for him. Miami continues to be linked to William Jackson III. And it makes sense because Nick Needham's out for the year. He needs some cornerback depth. Uh, Byron Jones is not going to be back anytime soon, it doesn't look like. So you need some depth at this position. William Jackson uh, would be a good fit, I believe. John Keim, who is the ESPN NFL Nation reporter for Washington, uh, tweeted this earlier today, actually. Cornerback William Jackson III denies reports that he wants to be traded. Here's my response to that. I don't believe him. I don't believe you, William Jackson III. You want to be traded. You want out of Washington. You want off of that really crappy commander's team. Come to Miami, man. Win a Super Bowl in Miami. We need you uh, on this Dolphins defense. Here's what Jeremy Fowler of ESPN reported this morning as well. There are layers to this discussion due in part to the player's health. An MRI has revealed an injury to Jackson's lower back. It's something he might be able to play through, but that's largely up to Jackson, who as of late, uh, who as of late last week, hasn't officially requested a trade. The team is trying to decide whether his injury requires a trip to IR, which would shut him down for four weeks. And if he can play, should the commanders proceed with the trade, they've been trying to short sort through the situation. So if you want to bolster the Dolphins' defense here, pick one to trade for. Brian Burns or William Jackson? Type BB or WJ down in the comment section. The better player is Burns. Who you need more, in my opinion, is a corner. William Jackson III would be that guy. Graham Glasgow. we got to talk about another offensive lineman, right? Graham Glasgow is a guard for Denver. He is someone that could be on the move because he filled in for Quinn Miners the last several weeks when Miners was out with an injury, but Miners is back, and now he's backing up Quinn Myers. He, uh, Quinn Miners. He took a pay cut last offseason uh, to kind of help the Broncos out, stay with the Broncos, so he would be somewhat cheap. He has a 72 pass blocking grade this season. Yeah, I understand that's nothing crazy, but Eichenberg has a 34.9 grade. He cannot be any worse than Liam Eichenberg, which is why you have to at least consider making this trade. You can probably get this guy for a seventh round pick. Do the trade, get Eichenberg off of that offensive line. Eichenberg's been probably the worst guard in the NFL this season. He cannot be any worse than Liam. That's why you should consider trading for Glam Glasgow. Guys, go down and subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash Dolphins News. We're going to have you posted with more trade rumors in the coming weeks. A lot to look forward to with the NFL trade deadline under two weeks away.